Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and welcome to Nintendo Life Weekly, your weekly smattering of Nintendo news, reviews, and releases. Remember, of course, that any annotation featured in this video will also be available as a link in the description. But anyway, well, 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 we've got some things to talk about. New rumors indicate that a previously mentioned NX rumor may be false. I'm tired, I really am. I don't wanna to have to resort to the NX rumor bandwagon, but honestly, very little else has actually happened this week. Anyway, talks that the NX controller would be able to stream games over the internet has been refuted. We're supposedly going to see a huge increase in software output compared to the Wii U, and a good number of unannounced Wii U projects are being moved over to the new system. Is there any truth to these claims? <sighs> Perhaps, but honestly, this whole scene is getting tiring. Let's hope that next week we get some proper news. The Super Famicom New 3DS XL is now available for pre-order. It's a Japan exclusive, but thanks to various import sites, this incredible looking system is a possibility even for us poor, tired old Westerners. Clearly modeled after the Super Famicom, or PAL region SNES if you prefer, this is bound to become a highly sought after exclusive. Pretty too. And finally, Mario Kart Arcade GP DX has had a sizable update. It may not be Mario Kart 8, but it does have Pac-Man. This arcade racer understandably slips by most Nintendo fans, myself included, but it's still good to know that it's continuing to be supported. The new Pac-Man stage is vaguely reminiscent of Technodrome, and honestly, just makes us wish that there was more Mario Kart 8 DLC out there. Now that all the news has been done, let's slap our faces and have a look at those releases. Not a sausage in terms of 3DS releases for North America this week, but that's nay bother when my recommendation this week in both regions is Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard. I've played so much of these games for guides, footage, and just for fun, and I'm still not bored of them. That's got to speak volumes in itself. Click on your region's list to find out what tasty discounts you can sink your teeth into this time around. What can one say about a review? Many things, especially if a developer for some reason keeps churning out various volumes of a series called Japanese Rail Sim 3D Journey in Suburbs No. 1. Other than that, it's a fairly alright week. Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard have done well for themselves, and Sega 3D Classics has done exceptionally well. Click on either of these lists to read any of these reviews and plenty more over on Nintendo Life. Yes, it is now time for my video of the week, and this time I'm changing things up, I'm bending the rules, I'm going off the grid, because this time around it's not one video, it's not two videos, it's not even 15 videos. It's 14 videos. To help out my wonderful colleague Tom Whitehead, I produced 14 unlisted videos for two Star Fox Zero guides over on NintendoLife.com. And to say that I'm proud of making 14 videos in a single day is an understatement, even if they are pretty basic. Spoilers are inbound, but if you're groovy with all that jazz, click the left half of the screen to watch our guide on how to unlock every single level in the game, and the right hand side should you wish to have a helping hand taking out those pesky bosses. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you come up with some ludicrous, unfounded, and intangible ideas surrounding that subscribe button, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye. But anyway, well, 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 what's my line? Now that all the news is done, let's slap our faces and have a look at those reviews. Ah, oh, releases. Oh, crumbs and blimey. <laughs> this is actually the second time I've recorded this video. Like, I just recorded pretty much all of it, like, right up to the last little bit of the end, and I realized I was filming in 720p. <laughs> we can't have that, we've got to have it 1080 for you.